In this video, we will discuss three terminal voltage regulators. So we know that the voltage regulator is a circuit which stabilizes the DC voltage independent of any variations in load current, temperature and AC voltage input. Voltage regulators can be broadly classified as fixed voltage regulators and uh, variable voltage regulators. So first of all we will discuss three terminal fixed voltage regulators. Three terminal fixed voltage regulators can be broadly classified as positive fixed voltage regulator 78 series and uh, negative fixed voltage regulator 79 series. The three terminal positive fixed voltage regulator as well as negative fixed voltage regulator are available in nine different output voltage options like 5 volt, 6 volt, 8 volt, 9 volt, 10 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, 18 volt and 24 volt. This is the general block diagram of a 78 or 79 series voltage regulator which mainly consists of four blocks. The first block and the most important block is the series pass transistor element. Then the second is a sampling network which samples the output voltage of the voltage regulator. The sampled voltage is compared with a reference voltage using an error amplifier. Depending upon the error amplifier, series pass transistor conducts more or less and conduction of series pass transistor is also controlled by the thermal shutdown. This is the pin diagram of 78 or 79 series voltage regulator. For a 78 series voltage regulator, pin number 1 is input pin, then second is the ground pin and pin number 3 is the output pin. In the case of 79 series voltage regulator, ground is the first pin, then comes the input pin number 2 and pin number 3 is the output. So this is the diagram of a 78 series voltage regulator in a circuit. Unregulated DC voltage is applied between pin number 1 and pin number 2. Regulated output voltage is taken between pin number 3 and pin number 2. Here in the diagram we can see two capacitors C in and C out. Capacitor C in is included if the distance between filter and voltage regulator is more than 5 cm and capacitor C0 is included to improve the transient response of the voltage regulator. Minimum input voltage of the regulator IC is equal to V0 plus 2 volt. This is the diagram of a 79 series voltage regulator in a circuit. Unregulated DC voltage is applied between pin number 2 and pin number 1. Regulated output voltage is taken between pin number 3 and pin number 1. As in the case of positive voltage regulator, here also there are two capacitors C in and C out. Capacitance C in is included to remove any unwanted noise signals at the input of the voltage regulator, especially if the distance between filter capacitor and voltage regulator is more than 5 cm. C0 is included to improve the transient response of the circuit. Minimum input voltage is equal to V0 minus 2 volt. These are some of the standard 
pre-terminal positive and negative voltage regulators available in the market. So this is the diagram of a 12 volt regulator. Step down transformer steps down 230 volt AC to a lower value. Diodes D1 to D4 forms a bridge rectifier. Capacitor CF is the filter capacitance to remove the ripples. Capacitor C in is included if distance between CF and 7812IC is more than 5 cm. Capacitor C0 is included for better transient response. Diode D1 and D2 convex during positive half of the secondary winding voltage. Diode D3 and D4 convex during negative half of the secondary winding voltage. So, unregulated DC voltage is available between pin number 1 and pin number 2 and output voltage is regulated 12 volt DC. This is the diagram of a dual power supply which generates plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt with respect to ground. So here there are two three terminal voltage regulators 7805 for plus 5 volt output and 7905 for minus 5 volt output. Step down transformer steps down the 230 volt AC to a lower value. Output of the step down transformer is rectified using a bridge rectifier which consists of diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4. Capacitor CF is connected to remove the AC components present at the output of the rectifier. So for 7805 and 7905, to get an output voltage of plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt, the input voltages with respect to ground must be at least plus 7 and minus 7 respectively. So here the output voltage of the rectifier must be greater than 14 volt. There are two capacitors C in connected between input of the regulator and ground to remove any AC components present in the input of the regulator especially if distance between filter capacitance and uh, regulator input is more than 5 cm. Capacitors C0 is connected between outputs and ground so as to improve the transient response of the voltage regulator. For some application if we need a current of more than 1 ampere then we have to use a power transistor to boost the output current. So here the circuit consists of a step down transformer which steps down to 30 volt AC to a lower AC voltage. Diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4 forms a bridge rectifier. CF is the filter capacitor and C in is the capacitor included if distance between filter capacitance and regulator input is more than 5 cm. Resistance R is included to limit the base current of the transistor. Then transistor Q is connected as an emitter follower. Output voltage of the circuit is 12 volt which can source more than 1 ampere of current. Now let us discuss the 3 terminal voltage regulator. So this is the Now let us discuss the 3 terminal voltage regulator whose output voltage is variable. Here the voltage regulator IC used is LM317 with 3 terminals 
Pin number 1 is the adjust terminal using which we can adjust the output voltage. Pin number 2 is the output and pin number 3 is the input. So the circuit above shows the usage of LM317 in a circuit to produce variable DC voltage which is regulated. So voltage between pin number 2 and uh, pin number 1 is denoted as V reference which is usually 1.25 volt and uh, current flow through the first pin adjust is very small around 100 microampere. So LM317 is a monolithic adjustable voltage regulator with three terminals. The output voltage is adjustable from 1.25 to 37 volt. So expression for output voltage V0. Applying KVL at the output we can write output voltage V0 is equal to VR1 plus VR2 where VR1 is the voltage drop across resistance R1 and VR2 is the voltage drop across adjustable resistor R2. So voltage drop across resistance R1 is equal to V reference. So V0 is equal to V reference plus VR2. And we can write VR2 is equal to IR2 into R2 application of Ohm's law. Applying KCL at the junction between R1 and R2 we will get IR2 is equal to IR1 plus I adjust. IR1 is equal to V reference divided by R1 application of Ohm's law. So IR2 is equal to V reference divided by R1 plus I adjust. So output voltage V0 is equal to V reference plus VR2. Output voltage V0 is equal to V reference plus IR2 into R2. Substituting the equation of IR2, we will get V0 is equal to V reference plus V reference by R1 plus I adjust into R2. So V0 is equal to V reference plus V reference into R2 divided by R1 plus I adjust into R2. So this can be written as V0 is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 divided by R1 plus I adjust into R2. Now let us design an adjustable voltage regulator with output voltage between 5 volt and 10 volt. So, circuit diagram is as shown. Output voltage V0 is approximately equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 divided by R1. So, as I adjust into R2 is very very small, the term is approximated to 0. So, V0 minimum is equal to 5 volt and V0 maximum is equal to 10 volt. So we have to find R2 minimum and R2 maximum. Output voltage V0 is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 by R1 plus I adjust into R2. That term is very very small. So output voltage V0 can be approximated as V reference into 1 plus R2 divided by R1. So V0 minimum is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 minimum divided by R1. Similarly V0 maximum is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 max divided by R1. So here we have one equation and two unknowns. V0 is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 divided by R1. And in this equation there are two unknowns R2 and R1. So we have to assume one of the two unknowns. So let R1 is equal to 1K. We have to find R2 minimum and R2 maximum. Thanks for watching Circuit Analytica. Enjoy learning.